He gets so excited. He likes to sniff everything. Come on. No, we're not going in there. <laughs> He's always on the lookout for some squirrel, I think. Anyway, it's cold out. It's not nice and sunny. I need some advice of what you wear when it gets really cold out and you still want to take your doggy for a walk a few times a day. I need some advice. I need some warm clothing advice. Especially when it gets really cold and freezing. Whew. All right. I'm going to finish this walk up. I'll see you there. All right. Here's what I'm having for lunch today. Some sushi rolls, which are vegan, so there's really no sushi in them. But and then I could eat. Looking at this view, isn't it pretty? I hope you guys are having a good day. It's beautiful out today. Hey everyone, it's me, and I'm off work today, so I'm just chilling in my PJs, which most of the time I'm already chilling in my PJs. <laughs> Especially when I'm doing videos. But I wanted to show you guys a couple things. That I got these things actually um, on my 40th birthday in February. And it's, you know, close to November now. And I'm thinking, maybe I need to start doing this stuff. It's like, I know what to do for self-love. But getting into the practice of it and, um, is very hard. And getting into the practice of different things you know, that you want to kind of, you know, you want things to happen in your life, like the law of attraction, you know, you have to do certain things. You can't just sit around and, oh, maybe it'll come one day. Anyway, I wanted to show you the law of attraction planner. One of my good friends got that for my 40th birthday, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Um, it goes into pretty neat detail about stuff. Um, you can't even see it really, I'm sorry, but it just has different things that you can look at. That was like the Law of Attraction Roadmap. And it has questions to empower your day and evening power questions. And, and it says action steps to feel better and increase your emotional vibration. I mean, there's so many things in here that I can learn from. And I need to just stop sitting around and wishing and start doing. And I don't know if some of you are like that, but... I need to get out of this funk I'm in. And I've been in it for a long time, so it's not like a weak funk. Oh, look, there's Cooper looking out the window. It's not, you know, I just need to start action. Not, you know, people plan, I need action. I also got this for my birthday too, Daily Gifts. It's a five-year journal, um, gratitude journal. So you write down every day five things you're grateful for. And it's for five years. So what's going to be kind of cool is... When I start it on my day one, in a year, I'll go back to day one and see what I was grateful for, five, uh, not five years ago, a year ago, and then so on. So when I get done with it, you know, that's going to be a lot of things, and that's pretty cool. So if you don't practice gratitude, you really need to practice gratitude. I mean, if nothing else, that'll make you happy, right? I mean, you got to, yeah, you just, just got to do it, okay? Anyway. I just wanted to, you know, check in and tell you that's what I'm doing today. I'm checking it out. I'm reading it. And because you know what? I want my dreams to come true. And yeah, so I'm going to do it. I love you guys. I will talk to you soon. Hey, everyone. It's Christy. All right. Sorry about the late video today. I don't know. My nose itches all the time. Anyway, so it's late because I took Monday and Tuesday off work and didn't think about it, but that's why I weigh myself. So I had to wait till I went into work today to weigh myself. And just going to get there quickly. It was 291.5, which was 0.5 of a gain. So I gained half a pound this week. Which, you know what? So be it. I really need to, like, step up my game, though. So, I I think I'm getting out of the period of, you know, feeling sorry for myself the past couple years. Finally. I know. But, 
and I'm learning to love myself, so I'm not really disappointed in this because I kind of know. I mean, I'm just glad I'm not gaining 10 pounds. You know, I know I haven't been binging. I'm proud of myself for that because that's a big thing for me. You know, I could go days eating well and then I would just binge. But I haven't been doing that for the past three weeks, so I'm pretty happy about that. And I've been looking into more raw food. Like I said, I haven't really been practicing it a whole lot, but I actually want to start some smoothies in the morning. And so I'm going to do simple. And um, probably Friday, start with my smoothies. Or tomorrow. I got to go home and see what I have, basically, is the reason I'm questioning when to start. Because I want to make sure I have enough stuff to start. But, um, yeah, so that's basically what it is in a nutshell this week. Quick, easy, 0.5 gain. It's okay. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to work a little harder. Because let's be real, I can kind of, I just have been like, eh, whatever. I eat kind of whatever I want, and I haven't really been, uh, I always tell myself I'm going to do well, and I'm going to do this, but then I'm real lenient with myself too, so it's kind of weird how lenient I am. But, you know, I want to get it together for the holidays, because, you know, at work and everywhere else, it's crazy season for food. And yeah, I don't want to be a part of that. So I think too, I just need a plan. I'm having a horrible, t let me tell you my grocery shopping. I never know what I want. So <laughs> usually I'm like, I'm going to get a 10 pound thing of potatoes, some tofu. That's pretty much my grocery list for the week. Cause I don't know what I want to eat. And if I don't figure it out, then I have potatoes. But then what the problem is, when I don't want the potatoes, and there's other stuff that is in my house that I'm tempted, I'll go eat it. So I'm eating, I'm not even eating really the potatoes. Maybe once. So I really just need to get my head out of my ass, basically. Let's be real. It's all there is to it. I mean, my head's really far up my ass. So, let's pull that out, wash it a little bit, you know, shine it, and let's start fresh. And I kind of knew when I started these videos, you know, I'm not going to start out being, I lost five pounds every week. I'm so great this month. Be proud of me. Because I knew my struggle's real, and most people's struggle is real. So I thought, you know, I'm just going to start these videos, and it's going to be part of my struggle. And you're going to see the goods and the bad, whatever. I mean, I'm not embarrassed of it. I mean, I might be embarrassed of what I eat sometimes, because I really know I shouldn't be eating it. But as far as... Yeah, I just... Right now, I'm just learning how to be at peace, and... I, I talked about my emotional struggles and stuff. Well, not what they were, but I was going through some stuff. And it's, it's like I still am, but I I'm finding that journaling is really helping. So, getting my emotions out. There was one night I couldn't even fall asleep. And I was like crying. I was like, I can't stop thinking about it. So, I got up and wrote in my journal. And then I went right to sleep. I just needed to get it out. So, that's really kind of quite helpful. If you haven't done that, try it. Because it's pretty awesome. And I'm about to go over this bump of this railroad track. It's like my favorite bump ever. Whee! I don't know. It feels like a roller coaster. I know. It's stupid. But I'm sharing my life with you. So why not share everything? Good, bad, and stupid. I love you guys. I hope you keep on watching. I promise it's going to get better. And I'm going to have better things. And I'm, I'm just going to be better. Anyway, love you guys again. And talk to you soon.